Yo, how's it going, guys? Ryan here, and today we're going to be checking out Leon, the professional from 1994. Now, I don't know if it's called Leon, the professional, or Leon, the professional. I don't know if there's like different versions or if there's different titles for different countries, which, you know, sometimes the case. But yeah, I've wanted to watch this movie for so long, and I think it's got like quite a quite a cult following i've seen like people cosplaying the guy and the, and the the little girl i don't know if he's a dad or protector or something like that also there's different versions to this movie and i think i was told to watch the like the uncut one the it's not the director's cut apparently because I, I had to google it because it's really hard to figure out what cut of a movie to watch when you've never seen that movie do you know what i mean and and like how to find it because in a lot of places you know you get what you're given i think this one might be the longer version though i'm not 100 so if i'm wrong i'm wrong but you know i'm trying my best but i did see when i googled it that luke Besson has said his preferred cut is the theatrical cut so he's saying that that is the director's cut so i, I don't know man i you, you guys are gonna have to let me know which one you prefer and even which one this is as well i think it's the longer one but I mean, you know, don't come for me if it ain't. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get straight into it, man. Grab some snacks, grab yourself a beverage or something. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. Leon or Leon the Professional or just the Professional, whatever it's called. We're getting into it. Let's go. I'm excited to, to finally get into this, man. It's been, this has been a long time coming. I don't know why I found this film so hard to find over here. Oh, Gary Oldman's in this. I did not realize that. Didn't know that. I know Natalie Portman's in it. Yeah, I think she's quite young as well. She looks quite young anyway. For some reason, I actually thought this might be set in Paris, not uh, New York. That's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting shot. Let's talk business. This fat bastard is trying to move in on Mauricio's business. Comes to town every Tuesday. Are you free Tuesday? Yeah, I'm free Tuesday. I love these shots, man. Are you drinking milk? It's not really like a, a, the beverage choice I would have, you know, imagined for a badass. <laughs> It feels like we're getting straight, straight into it. We're hitting the ground running here. Remember, neatness counts. You got one half hour. I think this is the guy. Is that the guy who played Kingpin in uh, Daredevil? Yeah, what? It's Tonto downstairs. <laughs> There's a guy who wants to talk to you. What's he look like? Serious. <laughs> yeah. He's coming up. Oh, shit. He's coming up. Somebody's serious. <laughs> yeah, he, he really wants to come up, man. As if he's just like alerted them to his presence, though. Like, obviously, he's got a plan in mind. I'm just, uh, who is this guy? You know what I mean? Stop, stop, man. Yo, this guy's just picking him off one by one. Like, I'm playing a video game. Oh, wow, look at this shot. <gasps> oh my, oh my, what a way to go. Did you get a bit of a rush on the way down, I guess? <laughs> yeah, this is like when you play like Metal Gear Solid or Splinter Cell and just picking them off one by one. Hey, sweetie, what's going on? Don't worry, baby. It's cool. Take a nap. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he cares about you. Just, you need to dip. You need to leave this, uh, whatever relationship this is. Oh! This guy is... surgical. Who is this guy? You should have probably conserved your ammo instead of freaking out. That was a cool shot, though. I love how all that light was leaking in. Yo, we're dual wielding now. Ain't they messing about? This is definitely going to save you. 
Oh, fucking hell. It's like Home Alone or something now. 911 emergency. I need help. Oh my God, he's actually, the criminal is calling the police. That's when you know it's bad. He's behind you, man. He's behind you. Man, I love this breathing. Oh my God, look at this fucking shot. I got half of Bolivia sitting in the suitcases over here. Ain't even cut yet. We're gonna take it, cheers. I love this shot, man. Just emerging from the darkness. What the hell? That use of sound with the breathing as well was, oh. Uh, I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Is he just gonna let her walk out? So it's safe to say today's your last day in town and we'll never see your fat fucking face again. Yeah. Wow. This is how you fucking scare someone, man. Make sure he understands and let him go. I can't believe they're letting him go, though. That's surprising. Do you understand? So say it. I understand. I guess killing him would create more problems. Dude, he's like a fucking, he's a silent assassin. supernatural man i love how we were introduced to that that character just straight in we know exactly what it's about and he is on some he is on another level man this guy likes milk as well geez this is a cool shot this is the second shot now i've seen of a staircase i only notice it because i love taking photos top down of staircases. I'm a bit of like a uh, yeah, nerd like that. Follow me on Instagram. Hi. Uh -oh. What happened? I fell off my bike. So she's being abused then, I guess. That's not cool. Hey. Don't tell my dad about the cigarette. So is he gonna like rescue her from her like horrible home life maybe? How old is she meant to be in this as well? Anna, how old was she when she filmed this? In June, we gave you the dope, it tests 100% pure. Now it's July, we pick up the dope and it tests 90% pure. You know, if you're gonna be a hard ass about it, I gotta disturb him. I'm telling you the truth. I hope so, because he's got a talent for sniffing out a lie. He looks a bit like a chubby Matt Damon, so especially profile. I'm telling you the truth. Look, tell me that's not a chubby Matt Damon. Come on. Is that her dad as well? This is not going to be good right in front of her, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh, this shit, this is Gary Oldman. And he looks crazy. Dude, this guy's just as terrifying as the, the Hitman guy. Just in a different way. Of course he didn't. Just do me a favor. Find out who did. By tomorrow, noon. Yo, what do you do when you get sniffed by someone? That's that. That's just strange, right? <laughs> I hey, I didn't cut your shit. Find out yourself. He's brave. Get inside and do your homework. I did it already. Oh yeah? Well, you can get inside and help your sister clean up the goddamn house. Yep. Well, if we. You know, weren't 100% it was the dad we, we are now. I mean, I think we all were, though. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. Dude. Dude is strapped up. Blimey. What is with my guy and milk? So I gotta say, this is giving off strong... Lonely vibes. He doesn't seem very, uh, doesn't seem very happy. I'm guessing, you know, him and the, the girl are going to get closer. Maybe like, I don't know, she fills a void. Yo, my, my, my man's just sleeping in the chair with his sunglasses on. He must be getting paid enough. I'm sure he can afford a bed or a sofa at least. Yeah. Wait, he has got a bed. Why the fuck is he sleeping in a chair? Please, really? 
Oh, she's got a brother as well, okay. Goddamn, my children have heard him with her ass with it. I'm not the one with the fat ass around. Two, man. That girl looked super 90s. When I think of the 90s, that's what I think of. I think I went a little too far this time. I think you're going a little too far right now. I'm going to be late for work. I'm not working at home today. Really feel it. Well, <laughs> let's hope it actually worked. I thought she was going to pie him straight off. She's going to hit me. Daddy. Oh, shit. Oh. Shut the goddamn door. Jesus, that's, this is a, this is kind of strange. <laughs> this movie already. That's a lovely hey, shot. So really yes, so maybe we got two, you know, unhappy souls that you know might make each other make each other's lives a little bit less depressing. Mrs. Lando, when your husband enrolled Matilda at Spencer, he told us she had problems. But if they are not here, there is very little we can do. Your tuition will be forfeit. She's dead. Fuck it out. As if she's got like a paid for private education, but imagine being the woman on the other end of that phone. Be like, oh fuck, maybe I need to change tack next time. <laughs> oh, she's dead. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> Another stairway shot. What, now she's got a bloody nose. Is life always this hard? Just when you're a kid. Damn, what a line. Always like this. To be fair. It doesn't get any easier. How have these people not had their kids taken off them yet? I'm going grocery shopping. You want some milk? One quarter two. It's two, right? Even she's noticed. My man loves milk. Uh, to be fair, I was, I'm surprised they gave him that extra day. This is why he looks so out of it, man. <laughs> he is out of it. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is that guy taking? I like who takes these cups? Cool like little that. moments before the storm. It reminds me of Beethoven. Uh, you can hear it crawling. Uh, you can hear the insects. <laughs> Dude, if you meet this guy out in public, you're like backing away slowly, man. This boy fucks his up. Oh my god, he's not gonna kill like the whole family, is he? Oh my god, he is. He's gonna kill the whole family except for the little girl. <laughs> Fucking fuck! <laughs> Fucking oh my god, shotgun in the bath. Oh my god, this is this is horrific. Oh my god, oh my god, you gotta do something, dude. Oh, I love the framing of that shot right between the beads. It's placed in right between the beads. Dude, imagine knowing that your family had just been fucking massacred. We said noon. I've got one minute past. You don't like Beethoven. Overtures like that get my juices flowing. But after his openings, he does tend to get a little fucking boring. That's why I stopped. <laughs> this guy is legitimately insane. He needs to be sectioned. My God. Look at, damn. You're a Mozart fan. Oh man, stay down, kid. Dude, what the fuck are you doing, huh? Man, keep your bomb buckled mouth shut. <laughs> you check the mattress? Nope. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh my. Oh, look at, oh, I love that we're getting like the gun point of view. They're gonna have accidentally taken out the kid in the fucking hell, man. Don't drop the gun. I hope the police not arrived yet with all of this shooting. It's pretty loud. Oh. <laughs> Ruined his suit. <laughs> This movie is brutal. Damn, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. What are you doing? He's dead. But he ruined my suit. I knew it was about the suit. I know, but he's dead. He's the kind of crazy person that would be more upset about the suit rather than, 
you know, the physical damage to his body. I think those tablets have kicked in <laughs> well and truly. What's happening out there? All right, man, go make the uh, police. Why don't Take you it. leave that poor family alone? Stuff, right? He said, go back inside. <laughs> Is she on those pills as well? I think it's better if we don't shut <laughs> Oh my God, I'm rooting for the old lady. He's just going to open the door and let her in. They're really not bothered about witnesses, man. They don't. They do. He's opened the door. No fucks given. How could you not? Oh my god, man. This is a really good performance by Natalie Portman, though, so far. I'm not sure I would have been eyeballing him that much. Uh, although, we've seen what he's capable of. There are three kids here. I think Stan killed this girl. And Willie, that asshole, shot the little boy. The third one's missing. Find her. Shit. Don't ask the guy outside. Hey, we missed a little girl, man. I'm going to try to find the fucking super disguise. They're just going to think he's just like some ordinary civilian, not the fucking bringer of death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't fuck. you recognize me? Luckily, he didn't see the photo. You know, there's no getting away from her in that photo. Yo, I found it. Bingo. I know. I thought maybe it was like an admin error or something. I can't believe he actually just lost almost his entire family for that. Tell them we were doing our job. I'm loving how this is filmed. Super stylish, really unique. Also, Gary Oldman is, Sorry, is creeping me that, the F out. You <laughs> if you couldn't stand them, why are you crying? Because they killed my brother. What the hell did he do? He's four years old. I was more of a mother to him than that goddamn pig ever was. Hey, don't talk like that about pigs. They're usually much nicer than people. <laughs> they smell like shit. Yeah, I gotta say, Natalie Portman is killing this. I don't know how you do this at such a young age. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, how are you today? <laughs> I've seen better days. I wasn't expecting it to be good with kids, man. I thought it was gonna be really kind of awkward. I'm gonna get some more milk. Yeah, this is why he's so good. His bones are like steel. Yeah. Well, things just leave lying around. What exactly do you do for a living? Cleaner. You mean you're a hitman? Yeah. She's switched on. Cool. Yo, I'm loving these close-ups, man. This is such an interesting development. How much would it cost to hire someone to get those dirt bags? Who killed my brother. Five grand a head. Wow. That's not that expensive. It's not as expensive as I thought it would be. In exchange, you teach me how to clean. What do you think? Is he actually going to legitimately train her to be as much of a badass as he is? <laughs> He's not even going to put unfold the blanket. Come on, man. All right. It's interesting, it's like, it seems like he's scared of getting close to her, which is surprising because he was pretty good. He showed that he's pretty good with kids, right? I don't know, it's like there's two sides of him. It's like battling. Whoa. Whoa, what's that fam? What the hell? Are you, are you sleepwalking? No, don't do that. <laughs> Oh my God, Leon is an interesting guy. He must be able to afford a sit-up bench. Five grand a head. Not my problem. 
Is that like 30 grand? Dude, it's so cold now. He's proper switched up. I think he was uh, scared of her getting too attached, I guess. And maybe him getting too attached as well. I've been nothing but nice to you. I even saved your life yesterday. You saved my life. You must have saved it for a good reason. If you throw me out now, it's like you never opened your door. You let me die right there in front of it. But you did open it. She's pretty intelligent for her age, man. If you don't help me, I'll die tonight. I can feel it. And I don't want to die tonight. Look at this manipulation. Don't take it, but leave it. I don't think you could do it. I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Just like you were saying. <laughs> what the f Is that a police in this city? I've seen this shot before on something. Don't you ever do that again or break your head. You got that? <laughs> break your head. <laughs> and stop saying okay all the time, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good. I think I'm gonna grow to like their relationship. Seems like it's gonna be quite interesting. We expect to use that in this hotel. I have an audition at Juilliard next month and I have to practice. Okay, 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 but not after 10. Huh? Okay, I promise. See, she's very emotionally intelligent. I have a kid, 17. Does nothing all day long. <laughs> He's giving me like Jason Bourne vibes. Obviously, this is like way before. How old are you? 18. She ain't 18. Want to see my license? She was being called by a school. Surely she looks about, I don't know, 15? No, less than that, maybe. The rifle is the first weapon you learn how to use because it lets you keep your distance from the client. The closer you get to being a pro, the closer you can get to the client. The knife, for example, is the last thing you learn. Wow, this is really cool. Ah. Look how the scene just opens out right in front of us. That's cool, man. I like his rules as well, they make sense. No, never take it off until the last minute. It reflects light. You can see you coming from a mile away. Yeah, we know that from Call of Duty and Battlefield. Who should I hit? Whoever. I'll be with you in a second, all right? Give me a few minutes, thank you. Thanks a lot. You guys in the suit's getting lost. I don't want to see you, all right? <laughs> Considering the, the gravity of, you know, training a little girl to be a hitman. He's, he's adopted that position, you know, fairly kids, right? easily. <laughs> Limited pushback. It was harder for me to like get sweets or chocolate for my mom as a child than it, <laughs> than it was for her to persuade him to allow her to do that, to allow, allow him to do this. Don't take your eyes off him. Breathe easy. Watch his movement. Imagine being in someone's crosshairs and just never knowing. I thought it was just going to be unloaded. I didn't think they were actually going to like shoot someone, even though it wasn't like a real bullet. I didn't think they were going to do that. I mean, who was it they shot anyway? <laughs> she really is a cleaner. I love how much uh, he's dedicated to this plan. No, thanks. No discussion. What about if she's lactose intolerant? <laughs> There's a different cut of the movie where she's just shitting herself <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, his back must be fucked, man. My back's killing me right now. She's actually teaching them how to read and write. See, they're really good for each other, man. They're just like filling in each other's gaps. I hope nothing happens to his plan. I'm, I'm getting a little bit attached. We need a break. Let's play a game. What kind of game? Like a virgin. What the hell? <laughs> Touched for the very first time. <laughs> the pants over the, the, the trousers are making me laugh. Happy birthday. Why is she picking like really like, sexual songs? <laughs> Mustache. 
don't say that guy. It's not that guy. No. <laughs> okay, Pilgrim. Clint Eastwood? John Wayne, maybe? John Wayne. Yeah! I was just about to say that, I swear. It's amazing. Leon, really brilliant. <laughs> don't gas me up now. School sounds very, uh, you French. Friend, don't you? <laughs> My best friend. Like I say, I did think that this was set in France, weirdly. I thought it was going to be Parisian. If you really love it, you should plant it in the middle of a park so that it can have roots. Oh, let it go. Yeah. That's what she's telling me. I'm to the do. one you should be watering if you want me to grow. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. yes, yes, yes! Yeah, my mum would kill me for that. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel owner ain't gonna be happy. I missed you. And uh, you missed some nice jobs too. I wonder how long he's been gone then. Been working a long time and I haven't done anything with my money. You met a woman. Leon, you gotta be careful with women. Remember when you arrived in this- She's a child. <laughs> it's your money. I mean, I'm just holding it for you. You know, like a bank. Except, uh, you know, better than a bank. Because with a bank, there's always tons of forms to be filled and all that shit, right? No T's and C's? Your money's here. Whenever you want it, here's a grand. It's okay. No, no, it. come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look how awkward he is. It, it does really be like that, though, if, like, work owes your money or something. Sometimes you can feel awkward asking, but really, should you? It's your money. But I'm glad it was all explained about he was earning five grand a hit, he was saying, but looks poor as fuck. So I'm glad that was, that was explained. What's a big fucking deal? I was just smoking a butt while I was waiting. He's already in protective father mode, man. Okay. I thought the French people love smoking. <laughs> Is that just a, that's a massive stereotype, right? I'll be out in five minutes. Stand where I can see you. Okay. Leon, I think I'm kind of falling in love with you. Wait, what? How do you know it's love if you've never been in love before? Because I feel it. Where? You're in my stomach. I always had a nut there. Maybe it's that lactose intolerant. It's all the milk. I don't think it means anything. Late for work. I had been late for work. Oh, this is a... I like this. I like this. Wow. You know I love those shots, man. What exactly does your father do? He's a composer. Oh, that's wonderful. Except he's not really my father. He's my lover. What the fuck? Okay, she is very creepy. Why? 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 What is happening here? Hey, where are you going? Visiting friends at 6J. Oh, okay, great. Right. So what about that? <laughs> he's just interested in getting his Mac on, man. She's gonna get Leon into trouble. If that guy doesn't call the police, there is something wrong. Dude, look at all those bullet holes, man. And the blood, wow. Is that her brother? Fuck. I like how you can see the kind of blood stains as well, where, you know, where the penetrating bullets would have been. Good detail. Oh, wow. Secret stash. Nice. I need to find that in my house. <laughs> we know you're a busy man and we'll try to make this as short as possible. What? Gary Oldman's back? The guy was here. He went for his gun. Bang. We shot him. I lost a good man here. What the fuck do you want with me? How is he affiliated with the police? He's not police. I haven't it? got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit. Wow, says. What is happening? Also, Gar Gary Oldman is acting the fucking shit in this movie. It's, it's incredible. But what the hell is... What the hell? He's just copping to those murders and he just walks out? What's happening here? Take the hundred bucks and shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Don't tell me he's an actual cop. 
How could he ever pass like a psych evaluation? The guy is mental, like completely batshit, off the wall, fucked up. It's for you. How do you like it? Nice, see? Eh? Oh, she's ungrateful. <laughs> Can I have a word with you? <sighs> see? Why? Why did you do that, man? Oh, I'm surprised he wasn't arrested, though. I like how that was like a repeat of the shot from earlier as well. Well, not an exact repeat, but you know what I mean. Same, same, but different. Same, same, but different, but still same. Here, it's for a contract. 20 grand, right? You still have your gun. Use it. Just do me a favor. Don't shoot out the window, okay? Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> You're kind of nuts, man. She seems a little unstable. I'm gonna blow their fucking heads off. Nothing's the same after you've killed someone. What love? Or death? Get off my case, Matilda. I'm tired of your games. It's a really great game, Leah. Makes people nicer. It starts them thinking. I think she needs therapy. The kind of game you love. What? Russian roulette? No. If I win, you keep me with you. For life. <laughs> and if you lose? Go shopping alone. Oh God, she's Before. like as nuts as Gary Oldman. I hope you're not lying, Leah. Really hope that deep down inside there's no love in you. She's so manipulative. I love you, Leah. Fucking hell. My God. Cut that close. Matilda needs help. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. A family have just all been murdered. Blind me. What a character. Kids need to be shamed to something, right? Yeah, I know. I told you that. But ain't there an age limit? She's 18. Oh, really? Her uh, people skills are very good. A little bit creepy. It all feels very um, contrived. The light's out. It's all dark out here. Mister, I'm scared. She was fucking born for this, man. She worries me. Like a character, not Natalie. But <laughs> freaking me out. I can't believe he's just leading him around with <laughs> a gun in his mouth. Wow. Go ahead, your turn. He's not getting out to kill him, surely. Now the security shot. Oh, the second goes higher on the chase. God, man, this is serious on the job training. Never in the face. <laughs> they can recognize the client. My man is perplexed. Hey, mister! What are you fucking... Oh, man. <laughs> you see, when you use the silencer a lot, you have to put a piece of cloth here because it gets very hot and could burn it inside. Wow, this is better training than I've had in, in first days of work. We said no women, no kids. Who do you think this is going to kill? Donkeys and monkeys? If I was Leon, I'd be very yeah. afraid. It's clean. I'm liking um, Luc Besson's style. Really enjoying how, how this movie's put together and the shots yeah. used. How about a kiss? Like in the movies. Yeah, what? She asking for a kiss from him. This is weird, man. What the fuck, Enjoy. man? What is going on here? The last thing she needs is alcohol. I don't want to see her ramped up to 11. <laughs> this girl scares me. Is anyone else uncomfortable watching this? God, it's like the Joker or something. Wow. Yeah, this film is is different. Props to Natalie Portman for being, a, being able to play this. I'm really wondering if she's as young as she looks or if she was older when she filmed this because this film's like, the storyline is pretty mature. Do 
Do you know I mean you watch a movie by a director and you just know who the director is without knowing? Like a Quentin Tarantino or, or something like that. It's given me like that kind of vibe, like a very individual style. I'm looking for Mr. Rubin's apartment, but it's all dark out here in the hall and I'm lost. Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't work that time. What about the ring tree? You know that one? I like the shake of that. That's the ring trick. <laughs> I feel like that might come up again later, maybe. I like how the whole, like, everything just shook. Has anyone watched Oppenheimer? The way that Chris Nolan shakes that set. That's what that reminded me of. I wonder if he uh, took any inspiration. Matilda, since I met you, everything's been different. Just need some time alone. You need some time to grow up. Finish growing up, Leah. I just get older. I liked earlier, I didn't say at the time, I liked when they were showing the hit montage that she was like dressed as like a female version of him. Can't afford to catch a cold. You can see how much she like looks up to him, respects him, that she wants to just be him. It was kind of sweet. The costumes, I'm, like, I, I like the style, man. He looks French. I don't know what that means, but he kind of does. I'm worried about what's going on inside her head, man. It seems like Leon's been gone for a long time and I don't think she's best pleased. If I take out the weirdness of her relationship with Leon or her feelings or whatever, it's kind of like sweet that she's like dressing like him. Definitely a look. I guess this is why you get so many people cosplaying. Food. Special delivery from 4602. It's like in the movie Blue Streak. Has anyone seen it? Where uh, Martin Lawrence tries to get in. Very same tactic. I have a pizza man here to deliver the pizza. Thank you. Officer, I got your pizza. Well, I think his was far more elaborate. <laughs> Gonna take you out while I was taking a shit. <laughs> He's probably just doing lines in there, to be fair, knowing this guy. Fucking hell, that's unsettling. Oh my god. Uh, let me guess. Chinese? Thai? Maybe? I've got it. Italian food. I mean, the, the pizza box might give it away, to be honest. Dude, it's really creepy how he does that. It reminds me of that guy from Men in Black at the beginning when he puts the man's skin on. Ugh. What's your name, Angel? Dude, he creeps me the fuck out. What filthy piece of shit did I do now? You killed my brother. She just came out and said it. It's when you start to become really afraid of death that you learn to appreciate life. That, that actually does make sense. It's like when you have an operation or something. It's good. Man, it's so creepy. I take no pleasure in taking a life if it's from a person who doesn't care about it. That's not a good mentality, man. That's not a good mindset. Shit, Stan, I've been looking all over for you, man. There's a check upstairs. What? And I was upstairs, I came down here. What the hell is this police department? Or DEA or whatever the fuck it was. It was a pro. It was fast. Fucking came <laughs> out of nowhere. Faster. Boom. It was like a fucking ninja. Then turns around, says something to Malky like, no women, no kids. Dude, awesome. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, damn. I was wondering what was going on earlier. I think it was something personal. You There's think? This Come on, put the fucking Quincy. dots together. How high are you, dude? Can you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you, Stan. Just chill out, man. Did you take her up to my office? This is so strange. I feel like the whole world of this movie is different. It's not the world we exist in. I know where to find the guys who killed my brother. The boss is Norman Stansfield, and he's in the DEA building. I know I'll feel better after I do this. I love you. Crazy, man. I don't even know what's going to happen. What I do know is that every scene Gary Oldman is in steals the show. She's going to do the same exact thing that I said. The rules of our world are not applying in this place. Careful, blood. 
might be poison. Oh, man. There's no anchovies on this. You probably will poison it. Oh, fuck. No need. No need. <laughs> man just walks into the DEA place. I got one man siege. What the hell? That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. Do you like it? Please don't get creepy again. Not thirsty? Yeah, it's making me really uncomfortable. No girl's first time is very important. Nope, nope, nope. It determines the rest of her life sexually. Fucking hell. When she don't know. Why not? You love someone else? No. You're like 12. I mean, there was someone a long time ago. She was from a very respectable family. Mine was. Not so respectful. <laughs> You're like me. It's like me and my missus. It's like pulp and common people. I'm, we're the common people. You see, nothing can stop love, Leon. I kill her. What? One shot to the head. I was hoping that we'd find out about this. They said it was an accident. One night I waited for him. 500 feet with the lens. He also had an accident. <laughs> That's interesting. He started her training the same way he started. Same, same, but different. Sick of watching you sleeping on your chair. We're gonna share the bed. Put your head down, it's okay, relax. It shouldn't be strange, okay? It should be, be like wholesome, maybe, but she's made it weird. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting interaction. My man was killed right here on your turf. The hitman was kind of the, uh, Italian type. Or was he Italian? I thought he was French. Sleep well? I never really sleep. Got one eye open, Louise. No, I never saw someone with one eye open snore so much. <laughs> like a baby. Busted. I'm gonna go get some milk for breakfast. I won't be long. Don't forget the code when you come back. Two knacks, then one and two knacks again, right? right? I like how this shot's composed with the mirror, so we get to see both of their faces. But now I can starfish, man. Fucking bed hog. Oh my. It's like the SAS. Jesus. This is gonna go off, man. This is about to go off. I don't know how he's gonna handle it, but it's gonna be fucking off the chain. Dude, imagine having like a whole fucking like SWAT team at your disposable as a criminal. I suppose police are like the biggest gang. <laughs> you got helicopters and shit, man. Leon is something else, man. Don't worry about Leon, he can take care of himself. Shit. You'd be terrified, right? This guy ain't human. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? EVERYONE! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, intense, man. Gary Oldman is... impeccable. <laughs> this might be the weirdest I've ever seen him, I think. He just plays, like, unhinged so well. Oh my god! Upside down, dual wielding. Christ. He's got that core strength. That's those setups from earlier, man. Uh, go take a look. <laughs> no. For his eye. Oh. Don't move. You see anything? <laughs> it's the guy. Could say that. Let the girl go. Okay, the girl's coming out. Grab the axe off the wall. Over there. Go. Grab the axe off the wall. Are we gonna start going through walls? Right, you shot him. Oh my god. <laughs> Friendly fire, man. Move, 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 move. He's like something out of a comic book. It just doesn't seem like a normal human being. I don't know what happened. I didn't see him coming, I swear. I hope Leon doesn't die at the end of this. 
<laughs> gotta save that plant, man. We've got to save that plant. I hope he plants it at the end. I think that may be like one of the, the final shots. I think he kind of let, let, lets it go. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Like me as a kid with my laser pens. To me, we're checking out. I don't know if I want to go down there, man. Yeah, gotta make sure the plant's safe. I guess what other option have they got, but it looks like you just get, get electrocuted. Man, that's a claustrophobic looking shot. It's not big enough for you. What? It's barely big enough for me. We said no discussion. No, I'm not letting... Oh, he's not sacrificing no. himself. I don't want to lose you. Yeah. You're not going to lose me, Latifa. You've given me a taste for life. I want to be happy, sleep in a bed, have roots. Is it just that he was so used to sharing a bed with his ex-missus that he just never slept in the bed again because it just felt lonely, maybe? She felt I'm like that when my girlfriend goes away. It's a bit weird, isn't it? When you used to share in a bed with someone. I love you too, Leo. See, this would be really sweet if what happened earlier didn't happen. It's kind of like tainted it a little bit. That was a fucking interesting shot. It reminded me of uh, the zombie things from... Um, I am legend. You know, it screams at Will Smith through the glass. Reminded me of that. I just said take the guy out, not the whole fucking building. Hey, we've got one breathing here. Get a medic on the horn. Is that him? That's him. That's Leon. What? He gets escorted out by the very people he's being hunted by. I was worried he was going to be done for, man. I hope he gets out. Gary Oldman might clock him. I love how this film's shot, man. Squad number one, what's the status on the apartment? Fancy shit, too much smoke in here. Give us five minutes to clear it out. They're <laughs> gonna find a cop stripped. Let me see you. You're from the third precinct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't say anything because of your fucking accent. It'll give you, give you away, straight away. <laughs> All right, fine, put it down. Oh my God, put it down. you recognize him. I knew Gary Oldman would be the one to clock him. Why isn't he saying anything? Is he just scared of him? Maybe he just thinks, well, the girl must be on her own now. Now's my chance. Oh, no. This... No, 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 no. I love how that this whole sequence has been filmed. Oh my god. Wow, that's a gorgeous shot. I've never seen it done like that before. Um, I was hoping he wouldn't be. I was hoping for a happy ending, guys. Gary Oldman could not get away with this. This is from Oh, it's a it's a grenade. It's the ring thing. Shit. Yes! I thought maybe Matilda was going to have to go after him. Perfect. Perfect call. But I knew that ring thing would be so... There, there was something a bit poignant about that. Felt like it was going to come up later. I'm very happy about that. No one deserved that more. But I'm sad about Leon. I should hold the money for you. Like a bank, you know, except it's better than a bank because, you know, banks always get knocked off. We've had this conversation. All you got to do is come here every once in a while and I'll dish it out so that you can have a little fun, okay? She's basically going to be the new Leon. I ain't got no work for a 12-year-old kid, so get it out of your goddamn head. It's over. The game's over. Leon's dead. 
He, he's obviously grieving as well, I guess. You think I ain't hurting too? That's what I'm saying, man. But he's dead. Yeah, we, we know that. Now take this money and get the hell out of here. I think she's going to need more than $100, you know what I mean? I, I hear New York's pretty expensive. <laughs> I love how she's still walking around with that, that plan. I hope that guy is really truthful with that whole money thing as well. Because this bank seems like well sus. It seems like a bit like a Ponzi scheme. No one's really getting their money back by the sounds of it. You have to stop lying to me, Matilda. I want you to take a chance. I think lying is just in our nature, man. Okay. My family got shot down by DEA officers because of a drug problem. And if you don't help me, I'll be dead by tonight. Uh, she gonna buy this? A bit out there, a bit far-fetched. Gonna go plant the plant. I said earlier this would be one of the final, final scenes to the movie. I think we'll be okay here, Leon. Actually, the final, the final shot. Wow. I love that final shot, man. Oh, beautiful. Cinematography in this has been oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And that was a Leon. What do you mean? I've been dressed like this the entire time. I don't know what you're talking about. I like Leon's style in that. I like the the kind of style of the whole movie, to be honest. The, the costume in, I, I, yeah, I quite enjoyed. But anyway, I think the first thing I'm going to have to address, what the fuck was going on with uh, Leon and Matilda's relationship, man? What, what, what was that about? I don't know how old Natalie Portman was during those scenes. Like, I imagine she's older than what she looks, right? I, I don't know. But it just made me feel really uncomfortable, like, how grown up those scenes were. Like, knowing that, like, a young person was acting that out anyway just made me feel a little bit icky. Yeah, it, it really, like, spun me out. I, I wasn't expecting to hear some of the stuff that was coming out of her mouth. Anyway, performance-wise, I mean, Natalie Portman smashed it. That character was kind of nuts, man. That was the... Whoa, do not get on the wrong side of that kid. <laughs> Whenever Gary was in the scene, he stole it, man. Even if there was, it was almost unfair to other actors, man. If you were like alongside him in that movie, uh, he played such a creep, probably the creepiest I've ever seen him, I think. I love how this movie was put together. I love how this movie was made. It felt very unique. Felt like it just, you know, it had someone's stamp on it. If you've got any movie recommendations, suggestions, whatever you want to call it, below in the comments, man, I'm all ears. Let me hear them or let me see them. I guess I'm all eyes. Is that better? Maybe. Uh, you take it easy, man. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I hope you have a nice rest of the day or evening, whatever time it is. And uh, man, look after yourselves, look after each other. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I'm in board shorts. I don't hear anything of it. You can't see below there anyway. It's fine. <laughs> see you there. Thank you.